Sorry, your kind just does that to me. What did you say you were here for? Oh, right. Your friend. <laughs> Guess you probably knew the guy I snacked on. I think I dropped what's left of it right around. Ah. <laughs> there he is. Is he your friend? That pile of meat on the ground. No one else has bothered looking for him. He looks starved half to death. But still looks better than you. <laughs> Take a good look. You're about to end up just like him. Wait, brother! Huh? Oh, Rui. What are you doing here? Let the human go. Uh, seriously? The hell are you talking about? Have you not fed enough this week? There's no need to. No pun intended, sis. You suck sometimes. After all that, you want me to just let him go? Regardless of all that, the human is. He's what? Back on his feet? About to run off? Oh, that's cute. He's still trying to save his friend. <gasps> Humans. Are worthless. Eat shit. Brother. Yeah! <gasps> Oof, that had to hurt. You know, you could have just ditched your friend and saved yourself. Well, if you're not gonna fill me up now, you people are so damn fragile. You know that? No. <sighs> this is why I hate kids. I'm taking off. Lay those two together so it looks like they hate each other. Man. Lucky Hobbit getting rough these days, isn't it? <laughs> Later. Forgive me. This is my fault. Just when you... You're still alive. Humans die so easily. But we... Right. Is there a sharp object about? I suppose I'll need to bite my own lip. Those guys on Pitter were telling the truth. 
We want to check out this back alley. Do you think we can trust them? Probably. All our info's pointing right to this area. You never should have let him go off ahead. It'll be fine. It's a little rougher now than it was around here, but it's still Akihabara. It's like our own backyard. Still, walking down the street this late at night, looking for his friend who disappeared the same way? That is playing with fire, isn't it? Well, that's why us Akiba Freedom Fighters are on the case. Ah! <sighs> this is all I can do. A poor apology, I know. On the ground there. Is that... Who was she? We have bigger priorities. Oh my, he's a mess. All this blood. Wait. There's blood, but no wounds. He has marks, but they're healing. Don't tell me he... Oh, the other guy's down too. Damn, this one's real bad. We've got to call the paramedics. No need. Huh? Who's there? We'll take him. So, is he up yet? He just woke up, yes. And? The results? We haven't had time for a full test, but the results we do have are clear. He's become a Shadow Soul. We're seeing significant changes in him already. His wounds are all healed, for one thing. As expected from that particular bloodline. Unsettling. Sounds like we have some more tests to run. Let me take a look at it first. Definitely not normal. Hey, now, take it easy. Let's just have a little talk. My name is Ryuji Seijin, part of an organization called Naira. Want to tell him why we're called that? National Intelligence and Research Organization. Naira is the English acronym. Exactly. That's how we got the name. Mr. Sejimon. Well, enough about that. This is Satoko Mito. My right hand. The public doesn't know we exist. We take on special classified missions to protect Japan. Now, let me make one thing clear first. None of this is normal. You might have already guessed that much, but regardless, the point is, your body is changing right now. Let me spell it out in detail. Or would you rather get straight down to business? I'd rather make sure you understand it first, but I'll leave it up to you. All right. Last night, Ms. Mito was tracking a certain man when you happened to arrive on the scene. Do you remember the back up? Do you remember when he attacked you? Your injuries were quite severe. Ms. Mito tells me you were close to death, at least at first. After you were injured, a certain girl forced you to drink your blood. A very special kind of blood, capable of changing a human body at the cellular level. The subject can develop remarkable strength and abilities at a certain cost. Because of the blood she shared with you, you yourself have gained those abilities. Your wounds are all healed, for one. That is a blank, uncomprehending stare that I ever saw. All right, let me ask you this. Have you heard the rumors spreading around Akihabara? Essentially, yes. More than one of them, in fact. Including the ones you just ran into. You wouldn't be far off if you called them monsters. To be more accurate, there are separate species resembling humanity and dating back to ancient Japan. They're known as Shadow Souls. 
They draw their sustenance from human blood. And that's not the worst part. When a mosquito sucks blood, it injects the host with its own fluid, too. These creatures do the same thing. A mosquito bite might cause a little pitch, but one of these bites will leave you feeling drained and feeble. More than that, you'll become extremely sensitive to sunlight. Do you understand what this means? You're on the right track. Once a victim's bitten, they're forced to become a shut-in. Even after physical recovery, they sit at home, marking time, while the rest of the world passes them by. Given the state of Japan, it won't be easy to bring them back into society, especially young, inexperienced people. The creatures aren't just feeding on blood. They're sucking the life force out of this country day by day. They even have a name for it, believe it. The Shut-In Project. They target specific young people with the potential to be our future leaders and turn them into hopeless shut-ins. And once they've drained our talent, they send their own children to fill the gaps in society. Bit by bit, the shadow souls are taking our place. They also live a lot longer than we do. That's how they have the patience for the long game. By any measure, they're an existential threat. So that's where we come in. We keep the Shadow Soul's existence a secret to avoid causing panic. And we fight a secret war every day for the sake of Japan and humanity. Name aside, we do more than intelligence and research. We're fully combat capable. Not with firearms, mind you. Too loud. Our methods are much more subtle. We can even make a body disappear. But, as I may have mentioned, these creatures are physically... Challenging. Even our methods aren't always enough. Which brings me to the question I wanted to ask. For whatever reason, that Shadow Soul girl shared her blood with you. You've become a Shadow Soul yourself. Maybe temporarily, maybe not. And you've got the power that comes with that. Our resources are... strained these days, to say the least. Your power could help us turn the tide. Will you work with Nairo and help us protect Akihabara from the monsters who attacked you? Not for free, of course. We'll compensate you fairly. How about it? Very well. Ms. Mido, take off his restraints. Well, glad that worked out. That window faces east, and it's almost the sunrise. If you'd said no, we'd have left you here till morning. Wouldn't have been anything left of you. Can't have loose ends running around. Now then, your first assignment is to go home. I'll have Ms. Mito meet you in town tomorrow. We'll also be bringing those Akiba Freedom Fighters into the fold. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Just get a good rest for now. Oh, and don't wear anything too revealing from now on. Your face and hands can recover from the sunlight quickly, so don't worry about that. But if you're caught outside naked, the sun will destroy you. Be careful. What are you talking about? Uh, pardon me, I left that detail out of the report. To give him the blood, the shadow soul called Rui Fumizuki cut her lip and performed mouth to mouth. <laughs> now that's romantic. That girl is the youngest sibling of a high ranking shadow soul family. Keep working with us, and you'll see her again. But when you do, well, you can guess.
You look like you're feeling better. Good. Yourself. I appreciate that. Or is that just the blood talking? Uh, pardon me. Disregard that. Now, allow me to introduce myself once again. You can call me Satoko Mito. Mr. Sejima has given me orders to look after you. Any updates from the top will come through me. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We do it to protect the town and the country we love. Also, this is a job, so you'll be paid on a regular basis. I'll email you the details on that. Now, about them. I told her my name, but I couldn't think of anything else to say. We just met, you know? She seems really serious, and I guess we're all kind of nervous. Except Sara. She's just over there being Sara. Pardon me? I tried to chat with her, but we really don't seem to have anything in common. I mean, I have all kinds of questions, but I didn't want to just dive right in, you know? Yeah, so... Awkward. Super awkward. So... The boss asked me to fill them in, too. Would you mind introducing us? Well, again, they call me Atame. Yeah, the shop's been around for a while. Old-timey tech, modern tech, it's got a little bit of everything. People like to come by and window shop. I mean, I'm kind of rambling on now, but... Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Uh... Uh... I think I already said it, but, uh, my name's Gone. Yeah! My favorites these days are DBP. They're amazing. You just know they're gonna hit it big real soon. But then they'll probably leave town. And we might never get to see them again. And I know I ought to be happy for them, but it's still kind of sad. So that's what keeps me up at night. Wait, what were we talking about again? Well, for the second time, I'm Nobu. Nice to meet you. Well, some of the lesser known ones, yeah. All the mainstream stuff just plays it too safe these days. I am a sucker for anything with Lolly Kudere in it. You know, those ice-cold girls who never show their feelings. My name is Sara. Pleasure to meet you. I am the chief maid at Edinburgh, the Orthodox Maid Cafe. Do please stop by the shop. I can also introduce you to other places that may fit master and mistress's liking. Whatever you would like, please do not hesitate to ask. I see. Thank you very much. Clearly, you're all a bit different from my usual associates. We have a lot of ground to cover here, but first, could you go on ahead and meet me at the front?
front of the station. I'll catch up in a bit. I'll fill you in later. Take care. says you're not you. Don't play dumb. Sorry, but you're gonna have to die. Uh... <sighs> I won't miss you this time! wrap this up. Call her the master. 
She's developed and perfected a new fighting style to combat the Shadow Souls. She's also not terribly concerned with decorum. You'll understand when you meet her. Now let's go. She's on the rooftop of a certain building. Can you please help? Uh. Can you please help? It's been a while, Master. It's me, Mido. A long while. I was getting worried. You've been doing all right? Mm -hmm. Yes, thanks to your techniques. I've been using them every day. I'm not asking about your job. I mean, the other thing. Oh, well, uh, that's... Uh... <laughs> So adorable. Anyway, um, I'd like you to meet someone. Yes, I heard he was coming. Not sure if he's qualified, but I'll see what I can do with him. I was getting bored up here anyway. Uh, thank you very much. Come on, thank her. Uh, it's all right. It's his first time. Hey, you. Do you love cherries? I love him like crazy. Well, do you? <laughs> that sounded very sincere. I was hoping you could teach him that technique today, actually. Oh, that's a shame. All right, work now, play later. Step on into the arena. And you come here, Mido. Huh? Sorry. Was that too forward of me? <laughs> For real, though. Come here. Oh, what, today? In front of him? You knew this was coming. No backing out now. This is what we do when you come here. Every time. Come on. You know you want it. That's... But, but... Come on. Or I'm not gonna teach him anything. In fact, I'll do you one better. I'll cut all ties with Nairo. No more lessons. Ever. That would be a problem. So you want it, right? My special technique. Yes. Say it so I can hear you. I want it. I want your special technique. Great. Now come on over. I'll take real good care of you. Just like always, okay? Now, the first move you need to learn from me is the basic... Strip down. Just like how it sounds, you'll be taking off clothes. Not your own, mind you. No. You're going to learn how to take off the other person's clothes. For whatever reason, those shadow souls are weak against sunlight. So my strip techniques work well against them, I suppose. But... Who cares about all that? Fighting, training, Nairo, shadow souls. I just want to strip who I want to strip. Now listen here. The first thing you need is drive. The drive to strip the other person. You need this raw desire to rip their clothes off and expose their soft, hidden skin. More than strength, more than skill, you need that. 
Have you got it? Very good. If you have that drive, you have nothing to fear. No matter how many layers the opponent has. In fact, clothing that's hard to remove is just another learning experience. For example, a tight pantsuit. Yes, and now it's your turn. Try out the technique on one of my adorable pets. Who do you want to strip the most? To strip your opponent, you must first understand your opponent. Wear down the shell that hides the lush skin. Strike over and over until its durability crumbles. To dodge the opponent's strikes, hold the defend button. If you need to fall back from a fight, press the toggle stance button. Do that, and you'll get a chance to smooth out your clothes. But be aware, you'll be wide open. Press the toggle stance button again to get back to the fighting. Now you take what I've taught you here, and do what you want with it. Not yet. You still don't have enough drive to strip your opponent. Feel the urge. Awaken your instincts. That's it. There's the drive. There's the understanding. When the clothing you've hit turns red, that's your chance. Hold any attack button to perform a strip maneuver. If your opponent resists your stripping maneuver, start mashing the button you use to start that maneuver. When you mash an attack button, it enhances your drive to strip. Mashing goes both ways. If you're about to get stripped, mash to resist. All right. You pulled it off. You've got a talent for this. Oh, please don't stare. Remember, be elegant, swift, put your heart into it. Let the urge to strip your opponent flow through you always. That is the first step and the key to all stripping techniques. Run along now. Taught me a brand new technique. You should keep coming up here. She'll teach you a lot of things. Remember, keep this place a secret. Don't even tell the Freedom Fighters. Am I clear? Not a word. No. Now I'm gonna go take a quick break. If something comes up, I'll keep you posted. Pardon me.
You're here? I assume you're ready. Take this. It's a shadow soul detector. We call it the mirror snap. Shadow souls blend in by disguising themselves as humans. This will show you who they really are. We developed it in-house at considerable expense. Please take good care of it. We also linked it up with your smartphone data for ease of use. Now, here's your assignment. We're going to test you in real combat. We've confirmed sightings of Shadow Souls roaming around on Backstreet. We've sent the Freedom Fighters ahead of you to see what they're capable of. Put your skills to the test by protecting them from the Shadow Souls. Two objectives in one. Find the Shadow Souls with the mirror snap, then eliminate them. Remember, this is 100% real. No second chances. Remember what the Master said about keeping that drive in your heart. And fight. Good luck. took care of the Shadow Souls. Nice work. I was watching you remotely. You passed with flying colors. Mr. Sejima was right about your potential. Surprising, actually, considering you had no experience at all when we met you. Regardless, now I know you're reliable. Our current target is Yu Abeno. He's the one who attacked your friend and injured you. He's our Shadow Soul. We need to find him and eliminate him. It won't be easy. He's already taken out several of our men. Honestly, if it weren't a direct order from Mr. Sejima, I wouldn't put you on this one yet. But your rather astonishing debut does give me some hope you can pull it off. To draw him out, I want you to do some recon. Southwest Main Street, in front of the station. This is a team operation, but we'll be taking separate routes, so please don't assume you'll have backup. We last spotted him here. 
once you're ready. Please make that your first destination. I'll email you more details soon. Also, you might need some of this. You'll be in constant danger from here on out. You'll need adequate protection. So, keep your equipment up to par. That tungsten can enhance your weapons. The Kevlar, your clothing. Don't ask too many questions about that, just try them out. You'll want more eventually. Where it is, you can find some on Backstreet. Although be aware they're not usually sold in stores like most items are.